started. Yeah. You're running now. Huh? Running now. Okay, fine. Yeah. In 1966, François Truffaut published a series of in-depth conversations with Alfred Hitchcock about his entire body of work. Truffaut, half Hitchcock's age, was already an internationally renowned filmmaker, and he wanted to free Hitchcock from his reputation as a light entertainer. It conclusively changed people's opinions about Hitchcock. It was a director talking about his own work in a way that was utterly unpretentious. You know, they were talking about the craft. Seven days. Seventy setups. And I shot some of it in slow motion. Where it sort of lays out all of the cutting pattern, contextualizing what the work of a director truly is. You know, I had a paperback. It's not even a book anymore. It's like a stack of papers. The Truffaut Hitchcock book was really revolutionary. We became radicalized as movie makers. It was almost as if somebody had taken a weight off our shoulders and said, yes, we can embrace this, we could go. I have a favorite little saying to myself, logic is dull. This is somebody whose mind is racing, filled with ideas. That's why we refer to him all the time. He's making floors out of glass so you can show the apartment above. Things that make cinema magic. I'm never satisfied with the ordinary. I've tried to play the audience like an organ. You know, there are certain rules, and he destroyed all those rules. <laughs> interested in the audience. Obviously, they're going to sit there and say, show me. I know what's coming next. <laughs> I have to say, do you? <laughs>